Hey, welcome to the shop. So there are a lot of health and safety concerns when it comes to welding, and one of the most difficult to manage is the welding fumes. Now, proper fume extraction units are very expensive and very large, and I've intended to put in ventilation here in my garage for quite a while, but haven't so far. So I'll open doors, try to get a breeze to blow through the best I can when I'm welding, especially with a process that uses a flux, like stick welding, or flux core welding. And even with gas shielded processes like MIG or TIG welding, you can get some pretty nasty stuff in the air, especially when you're welding aluminum or stainless steel. And wearing a respirator is not a bad idea. Honestly, once you get used to them, they're, they're not too bad. That being said, a little bit of active fume extraction can make a really big difference. And I'm not claiming that what we'll build here today is going to be a replacement for an industrial fume extractor. And just as a quick disclaimer, I'm not claiming that this will or won't meet any particular safety regulations. So be sure to look and do what you need to to meet the safety regulations where you are. I'm just going to show you something I'm putting together to try to better the situation in my garage. And I'll still open doors and try to get as much cross breeze as I can, but let's see how effective something like this can be. Our build will be very simple, beginning with this ventilation blower that I picked up from Harbor Freight. It'll flow 1,590 cubic feet per minute, and those of you who want a metric conversion, you're on your own this time. Now, I just need a way to get the air from the welding point down to this blower, and I'm gonna position this so it just blows outside. So in order to do that, I'm using this six inch flexible ducting that I picked up from the hardware store, and I'm not sure how long it'll hold up, but it wasn't very expensive, so it's worth a try. Now, I'm going to adapt it to the eight inch blower using this cone that I also picked up from the heating and ventilation aisle at the hardware store. So all those years watching the Red Green Show really paid off here getting this tape on. Now the air flows this direction. So I'm going to install this snout here onto the inlet uh, right there so it'll draw the welding fume in here, blow it through, and then position this to blow right out the door. Now, I think eventually I'll make some brackets to just screw in right here and there to hold it in place, but for today, I'll just use some tape until I test this thing out and see if it actually works. So a little more work with the handyman's secret weapon and we'll be ready to go. Well, there we go, just as simple as that. Let's test this thing out and see how it works. So to test this out, I'll start off with the fume extractor off and my son's gonna turn it on for me once I get into the weld. I'm just running some 7018 here and you can see the fumes coming off right towards my face, just where I don't want it to and it's gonna build up and I'm gonna have a smoky garage, just what I don't want. And now with the fume extractor on, it's totally reversed course and it's all getting sucked right up that tube and sent outside, so I'm not gonna have to worry about it. So I'm definitely happy with the results here. It's gonna make a big difference here in my garage. Now this is working great for stick welding, but if I'm gonna be MIG or TIG welding, I don't wanna have this much airflow down at the point of the weld because I think it'll interfere with my shielding gas and pull it away. In order to make this work for a MIG weld, I've positioned the inlet up a little bit higher pointed sideways and then I'm going to test it out like this and my hope is that the fume will rise naturally off of the weld and then get drawn in and sent outside. To exaggerate the amount of fume I'm getting, I've just taken a little bit of cooking oil and rubbed it on the surface of this steel plate. Now I'm running this weld and you can see the fume naturally rising off and the majority of it is getting drawn in and sent outside like I expected. So I think this is a viable solution for MIG welding and TIG welding as well to get some amount of the fume sent outside. Now I know that this is a very basic setup and I may build a more advanced one down the road, but the reality is a basic setup that actually works and that you have is much better than one that's so complicated that I never get around to building it. So hopefully this helps you to think about what you might be able to do in your own shop 
to take care of some welding fumes. If you like this video, let me know by hitting that thumbs up below. It really does help me out a lot. And we'll see you next time.